downloading and installing the AdventureWorks database. So what you're looking at on the screen right now is the uh, introduction chapter of the 70-463 manual on page 29, Roman numeral 29. To get to the location where the database is available, I'm going to click on this link. Okay, we go to the Microsoft Press download site, click on downloads. I'm going to scroll down and we'll find the AdventureWorks database files. Click on that. Then I'm going to save the file to my computer. Okay, it's going to take it a few seconds here. And as soon as it's downloaded, we'll extract it and get it attached to your database engine or to my database engine. Okay, the download's complete. I'm going to close my browser and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. All right, I'm going to extract everything in the folder. When I have the unzipped folder, I'm going to go into it and I'm going to copy both of these database files. And then I'm going to navigate to where databases are stored for my particular instance of SQL Server. So I'm going to go to C Drive, Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server. This is the instance that I want, MSSQL12. SQL Express. So I'm going to open that. I'm going to open the folder inside it. I'm going to go to this folder marked data, open it, and then you'll notice that I've already done this once, so I have copied the two files in here. Okay, if you look, these other databases all have a corresponding LDF file that goes with it. We don't have that for these two databases, so it's going to cause us a little bit of, of extra work when we go to attach them. Okay, since they're in there, I'm going to close that. I'm going to close that. I'm going to start up SSMS. And I probably got over eager and clicked twice here, so I may end up with two instances of it running at the same time. Okay, I'm going to connect to my database. I'm going to go open up databases, and you'll see that we've got the stuff that we've been working with in the course in here. I've got TSQL 2012. Well, I'm going to right click on database, and I'm going to click attach. Okay, now I'm going to click add, and you'll see it opened up the folder. Yours may not open directly into the folder that you want. You may have to navigate back to that folder like I did when I uh, copied and pasted the stuff. So I'm going to select the AdventureWorks 2012 underscore data database. I click OK. Now it's telling me here that it didn't find a log file for the database. So this is where we have to do a little bit of extra work. I'm going to click on that and now this remove link is active down here. I'm going to click on remove and now I'm going to click OK. All right, that just attached the database for me. So let's go do the other one too. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to click attach. I'm going to click add. Okay, here's that second AdventureWorks database. It's got a DW in the title. I'm going to click on it. Click OK. Again, I'm going to click remove that we couldn't find an LDF file and click OK. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, Hopefully this has been helpful and you can get the databases installed and start working on data mining.